Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Aries Sun, Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the first week of um, September 2017 and this week is the week of a judgment and whatever happened in this week, it is the week of um, um, emotion. Uh, emotion. And it is the zodiac energy of uh, um, <laughs> the um, heart energies. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is, is a wonderful, wonderful uh, week. Whatever is happening in this week, it's going to be a week of transformation. Okay? A week of transformation. The week begins from the 4th until the 10th. So let's look and see what is happening in this week for you Aries okay um, it's a week of a lot of a lot of stuff is happening a lot of stuff is happening the magician and the lover is in the weekend magician and the lover is hair and emotion so let's see what other energies are coming out what other energies are coming out let's see what other energies are coming out what other energies are coming out okay all right um there's a lot of people you have to work with a lot of people there is a lot of situation that is happening around you um whatever the situation is uh, there's a lot of conflicts uh, um the queen of wands and the knight of pentacles there is a lot of conflicts and a lot of situation that is happening a lot of knights are in this reading so we need to understand the magician is here twice so this is something but there is so much it's as if it is um, a situation where a, a lot of things are clearing up so let's look at Monday on Monday we have the two of wands so a portal a door is going to open positive um, uh, um, things are going to be happening for most of you so whatever situation is happening you're looking for a new job this is going to happen for you Aries whatever the situation is you're going to see a positive opening of opportunities coming up in your life and this is going to be a new beginning a new beginning for a lot of you areas out there so whatever the situation is this is going to be positive a new beginning for a lot of you out there as we move on and we look at Tuesday which is going to be a water energy we have the night we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is the energy of someone between the ages of 18 and 35. This Knight of Cups is coming in, and you need to protect yourself from this Knight of Cups. Whoever this Knight of Cups is, you need to really protect yourself from this person and um, make sure that you don't leave yourself open to negative energies because this person can bring in a negative lower energies to you so you have to be aware okay as we move on um, we are looking at the energy vibration of another night in the middle of the week so the Knight of Pentacles whoever this person is this Knight of Pentacles is going to be there another person between the ages of 18 and 35 whatever is happening to this person you have to be aware because there is a situation with a screen of ones and this Knight of Pentacles so these two people you have to be aware of whatever is happening around you with these two people because they are going to have an effect on you so the knight of pentacles can be someone who's a taurus a virgo or a capricorn and the screen of ones can be someone who's a aries who's yourself so this could be someone son um or daughter um of uh, um, in the masculine aspect it could be um, the man the, the Aries the Leo's uh, um, of a Sagittarius so it can affect you guys in different different scenarios and different ways so be aware of what is happening and these two energies are going to be focusing on your week so be aware of what is happening as we look forward we have the Queen of Pentacles 
and whoever the screen of Pentacles is uh, there is a conflict with the screen of Pentacles so the screen of Pentacles can be someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and there is conflicts there is battling and conflict so um, whoever this person is it is time to end this um, conflicts and battle it is really time to end this conflicts and battle on Friday we have the energy vibration of the Queen of um, sword the queen of sword and whoever the queen of sword is there's a happy family whatever is going on there is an happy family and um, the queen of swords is here and um, she's trying to bring in pleasantry so it could be your mom or um, it could be your mom so this person is the Aries uh, uh, a Gemini or a, a Libra and it could be your mom and there is happiness there is peace there is a, um, you know you two are at a place where positive energies are on Saturday you have the energy of the magician and the two of ones your energy is going to be the number two, um, number two because whatever is happening there's duality different scenarios that is happening for people um, it's affecting people who or have negative energies and it's affecting people who are vibrating with the higher energies so the magician is coming in to say to you you know you have everything that you need in your hands and new possibilities and new doors are going to be opening up for you so this is a wonderful um, situation that is going to happen in your life as we move forward we have the energy vibration of um, the lovers so a situation is happening with the lovers and whatever the situation is it's going to be healing a relationship so on Sunday you're going to see that this relationship whatever is happening it there is going to be a healing coming in with this relationship and you're going to be seeing that um, new possibilities new existence of this healing for this relationship is going to come in on Sunday the energy of the week is something of a difference because nine of ones you're protected whatever the situation is the nine of ones is going to be you're going to be protected with the energy of the nine of ones so this is going to be good and this is going to be a positive things because whatsoever is happening you are protected especially for the people who have been positive and live in their life in a positive scenario and a positive situation first half of the week is that you're protecting yourself from the knight of cups whoever this person is so this knight of cups this um, Pisces cancer or Scorpio you're protecting yourself from them and then you're moving forward and uh, there is a situation with a new door is going to be opening up to you you're going to be victorious over whatever is happening in your life in the weekend it is more of uh, um, trying to bring balance to certain aspect of yourself and this is what is happening there's a lot of conflicts with the screen of Pentacles and it's time that this conflicts and whatever is happening heal the situation there is also the Queen of Swords who is the Aquarian the Gemini of the Libran and um, you are having a connection a good connection with this person whatever is happening it is positive so let's keep it on a positive note Friday is going to be a warm happy day there is going to be love coming in and this is going to be positive remember that you have the energy of the nine of wands so you have absolutely nothing to worry about I'm using the wisdom of the house of night and let's see what is happening for you bring it bring it bring it okay um, let's see what is that saying? As um, rigid, rigid, rigid. Just let's see what that is happening. Rigid. So here we are. Because these are new. So I'm going to see what they're saying. Is there a stone wall that stands between you and others? Could that wall be inside you? now is the time to become more flexible and to drop your rigid uh, expectation of yourself and especially of others don't be afraid to drop your guard a little too 
if you're willing to let others in you will see a benefit in these connection another meaning here is that you recognize the wall that others may have put up don't take it personal if they won't let you in this is their way of coping and it has little to do with you so whatsoever is happening and you felt as if someone is putting up a wall against you it is okay because it's always a protection a protection of um, protecting you from um, lower energies protecting you from things that you don't need to experience so this is a positive um, situation um, whatever you're seeing it is much better because you're being protected I'm using the light worker Oracle and let's see what we have grounding um, the, the grounding comes up for a lot of people in this week so whatever situation that is happening you need to ground yourself so the best way to do is to call upon Archangel Sandoval and ask him to touch open and activate your earth star chakra and heal your earth star chakra and ground you so this is wonderful and this is why you have the nine of ones and you have grounding so you need to put up and ground yourself uh, ground yourself away from whatever this rigid thing is that a wall has been built against you and this is good okay this is good so whatever is happening on this stand that um, we need to know where we are in our lives and it's okay if people are putting up walls against us is, is good because you your angels and guides are protecting you okay please listen to your sun moon and rising sun and i'll speak to you next week